Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I want to show you three new emulation station themes by Dwayne Hurst, aka Hursty. Um, if you're familiar with his work, he does really amazing themes. Uh, a lot of a lot of stuff he puts into uh, the retro gaming community, um, and he just seems like a really nice guy. Um, every time I've I've chatted with him a little bit, uh, seems like a really good dude. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description uh, over to his YouTube channel, and make sure you go over there, give him some likes on his videos, definitely subscribe to his channel because he does phenomenal work. So there's three themes to show. Uh, the first one here is Back to Basics. So this was ported over from a theme that he did for a track mode, and he port he's porting it over to Emulation Station. So so far this particular theme. Uh, covers 205 uh, systems and collections so it's pretty in-depth I mean when you go through the system list and I don't have all of my systems scraped or anything like that so I'm just showing you what I have but there's 205 and at the end of the video here after I show you the three themes we'll go through the folder structure and show you um, exactly how many each theme covers uh, so, I mean, if I were to show you Daphne right now, you can see that the... I'm going to mute. Sorry. Um, you can see that the box art comes in, fades to snap. Looks really nice. I really like that look. Uh, also, um, when you look at the... Just the ROM list there, you can see that the text is very large, easy to read, nice and clean, nothing too fancy. But I love how you get, you know, it lights up yellow and you got the little Pac-Man beside it. So I really thought this one was pretty nice because of all the different backgrounds you get. So, I mean, if you don't have all of your stuff scraped as I don't, you can see here how it looks um, not being scraped. So, and the list goes on for how many systems this has, but really, really well done. Um... You know, my hat's off to her, Steve, for, for this one. And this is back to basics. So let's go ahead and check out the next one, which is called Crisp. So we'll just go into our UI settings. Theme set. Crisp. So Crisp is just a nice, simple theme. Very, um, very lightweight. Not much going on. Covers many, many systems. But it's just a really, really crisp look I mean it's it it's named correctly and you can see I love how if you look at the the name of the console just kind of fades out as you go through so PlayStation 2 is covered um, you can see here I do have the video snap for this game and in the bottom right I do not have my box art scraped for PlayStation but you can see if you have your box art scraped you would have that your snaps and then in the bottom uh, you actually get your game information, which is really nice as well. Um, and again, this covers so many different systems. It also tells you, um, you can see this 32-bit handheld console, the year the PSP was released. Uh, 1987 for a 16-bit TurboGrafx-16. PC Engine, um, you get the Commodore 64. LaserDisc console. So, I mean, really, really nice. And it tells you a little bit about each system, and that's what I like. I like a little bit of information. Um, that way, if you're not sure or you've never heard of a console, it'll give you a rough idea of what it actually is. Um, what's really nice about this, is I'm showing you it on Windows, uh, but this is for RetroPie. And for Crisp and the following one I'm going to show you is Primo. They actually have light versions. So I believe the light version is based uh, mostly for the Pi. It covers all of the Pi systems. And you don't have to worry about having the extra like GameCube and Wii and Wii U and PS3. And I mean, these things cover Xbox and Xbox 360. But we'll get all into that uh, at the end of the video when I show you the folder structure. Um, and we can see how many exactly they cover. So I really like this theme as well. It's nice and simple. And when you go in, you just get that white background. If you have your your information scraped it would be in the bottom right right now but again box art fades to snap so really really well done um, so the last theme I'm going to show you here is called Primo and we'll go ahead and switch over to that Primo so of the three themes uh, Primo 
is my favorite. It's my new favorite theme, and it, it really stands out to me. I really like how the artwork's done. And again, it's nice and clean, just a simple scroll wheel. You know, you don't have to get too crazy. Um, it tells you in the bottom right-hand corner about the system. And if we go to a system that I actually have scraped, um, which would be... I have Daphne scraped, I have Nintendo scraped at the moment, but you can see all of the systems it covers and all of the artwork as well. Scum VM looks really good there. Cody, nice and just, you know, nice and clean. There we go. So I get my little Cody snap, it tells you about the Cody a bit, and then it's also your game list is easy to read. So I will go and uh, I'll just go to Nintendo. So you can see box art fades to snap and everything stands out. I really like this uh, this blue. I don't know what it is. It's just really, really nice. Um, it looks great on a big screen. It also looks good on my laptop. So this is definitely my new theme to be using with Emulation Station. Um, and I've just got it on my, on my PC right now. I want to port it over to my Raspberry Pi as soon as possible and uh, get this theme up and running over there. But again, um, I'm just going to show you guys the folder structure and then we can recap the name of all these as well as they were done by Dwayne Hurst. Hursty. So I will exit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. So we'll exit out and we'll go into my themes folder here. And we'll go to back to basics first. And if we go to assets, backdrops. This will tell you how many systems it's covering at the moment. 205. I mean, he's even got PlayStation 3 there. Boom. Nice and clean. That looks really good. Um, there's there's just so many systems as this covers. Uh, and it's 205. It's not all consoles. It's also collections. So Spider-Man, Skateboarding, Sports, Simpsons, uh, Street Fighter. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can check out. Um... It, obviously for Raspberry Pi, it covers your ports and your Retro Pi. So if you want to see it on a Pi, there's your Retro Pi menu. Um, and this is back to basics covering 205 uh, between systems and collections. So for Crisp, we'll go ahead and check out those assets. Uh, without this DS Store thing, we're looking at 235. And you can see all of the artwork there. Um really well done I mean it's just so clean so there's the Wii U and I, I really like the Wii U I also like this Wario one right here I thought that was really cool uh, covering that and then if we come down a little further you can see Xbox is covered so when that emulator starts really pumping out and uh, seems like they're making decent progress on it you know 360 there you go so it just looks really good. Um, and it's just nice and simple. And sometimes simple themes are the best themes. Uh, they'll run better, especially on a Pi. Um, more so than, you know, if you're on a PC, I'm sure you can get more heavy into it. But on the Pi, I like a lighter theme. I like it. I like functionality. And this Primo theme is, is my favorite theme. So this one covers uh, 235 as well. Um, so if we look for, I mean, he's even covering Netflix. It's covered here. <clears throat> Excuse me. NES Classic. That's cool. Um, I just want to look for some that are kind of outside of the box. There you go. Team ZT. So this is covering Team ZT, uh, who do phenomenal work as well. And again, you get your, your Xbox 360 and your Xbox and uh, Wonder Boy, Wrestling, um, you know, Yoshi, <laughs> Zelda. There's just so much going on in here. I really, really like this, uh, this theme. And definitely, look at this. That looks really cool for the pie. Very, very nice. So, just to recap here, this is three new themes by Dwayne Hurst, a.k.a. Hursty. Uh, one is Back to Basics, the first I showed, the second was Crisp, the third was Primo. Back to the Basics covers 205 between systems and collections. Uh, Crisp covers 235, 
Between Systems and Collections, and Primo covers 235 between Systems and Collections. Also, Crisp and Primo have a light version, which is more geared towards the Raspberry Pi, which is the recommendation that I would make if you're using these for a Raspberry Pi as opposed to PC, and you don't need all of the extra artwork. Uh, number one, it's going to save you space on your SD card. Number two, it's always good to have a lighter theme on the Pi, as I mentioned previously. That way it runs smoother, runs nicer, and it's just a clean look. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, go over to Dwayne Hurst's channel, hit that like button on his videos, subscribe to his channel, and most importantly, as you guys all know it, have a good day.